So where do you find protein structure files? You, if you were using Jalview last week, I think you loaded up a protein structure, didn't you? I think, yeah, and you looked at it in either Chimera or probably in Jmol. Um, there, when you do that loading, you're loading up your structure from something called the Worldwide Protein Data Bank, um, PDB. So you'll hear people talk about PDB files, PDB structures. What they're referring to are three-dimensional structures determined experimentally and deposited in this data bank. And this has been running, it's one of the oldest, it's, it's the old, I think it's the oldest continuously supported data bank in molecular biology. It started in 1971, so an awfully long time ago. And it, it's been uh, continuously supported. Today it's run um, by three groups across the world, one in the US, one in Europe, and one in Japan. And uh, they call, that's why it's called the Worldwide Protein Data Bank. And it has structures of um, proteins, nucleic acids, and complex assemblies, and determined by a range of different methods. So X-ray crystallography dominates still at the moment. There's some NMR structures, and there's also an increasingly large number of three-dimensional structures determined by cryo-electron microscopy, as that technology has, has gone through this huge explosion in, uh, in the last couple of years. Um, <clears throat> There are, as I say, there are three sites you can go to to get information about the protein data bank. It's exactly the same data. It's presented in different ways, and they have different tools on the different sites. Um, I like the one in Europe, PDB in Europe, because it's in the UK. It's based at the European Bioinformatics Institute, just outside Cambridge. Um, I also like, partly because I like the site, and they've done lots of things recently to make it very sophisticated for search. And in fact, when you go in Jalview and you look up a PDB structure, it's using those sophisticated search tools at the EBI to allow you to choose that structure. It's actually communicating with their resources. The other reason I like it is before I came to Dundee, I actually ran this project at the EBI. So I have a kind of personal interest in it, although it was 15 years ago now, and uh, you kind of never forget, you know. Um, the American group does a great job as well. They have a different way I won't show you screenshots of that. They have different ways of showing the structures and different tools, and so it's always useful to look at both sites. Um, you find out different things, different, get different insights into structure. This is just to give an example of the search tools on the uh, PDBE. Um, so here I've looked up a structure of something. I can't remember what. It's a bunch of you know, enolases. But you get this nice thing at the side where you can refine the search very easily by just clicking on you know, if you want a particular species or you want uh, other features, you can choose very easily to refine your search very quickly. It just takes a few clicks. Um, when you've got over 100,000 structures in the protein data bank at the moment, um, these kind of tools make it a lot easier to find things. Okay.